Gaming like a new. Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it would help me out a lot. Now, gone through that, it's Tuesday, it's the Welling save, and we're going to face off against Liverpool here in the first game. Tough game. Um, and look at that, we are beneath relegation now, 18th. So um, things are not looking good. But let's see what kind of players we can use today and um, how we can try to change um, things here. Um, let's see, Jack Grealish is back. Fitness, what does it say? Uh, there's 45 minutes. Then I guess we're going to have to bring him in on the bench. Let's have him there. Right midfielder. How about getting Folks? Is he back? Where's getting? Where's getting? Is he not among these? Is he up here? There he is. Grow here with like that. Um, anything else? Cameron, Grant, Borgia, Wigget, De Rosa. Yeah, we're going to have Pena back in. Uh, getting folks, Patrie, Ronnie, Turney, and Oscar Thorne up front. And we don't really have any other choice. I think we have the best team. And they're starting to, good, to play quite good together, all of these three. So, yeah. We're just going to have to try, see what Liverpool can do to us or what we can manage to, if we can manage to survive against Liverpool here at Anfield. So it's going to be tough. No. Uh, tackles, ignore. Wouldn't it be cool if it started here by playing You'll Never Walk Alone when you get here to to the um, to Anfield and tries to play here and do the same with um, every team now I know the what should I say um, yeah play Blue Moon when you come to Manchester City's home arena but uh, I know that there is some problems with um, what you call it the rights but it could be something that you do afterwards, like you do with uh, face packs and logos and stuff like that. Just, I mean, you do have the Champions League in the new, in 23 and 24, you do have the Champions League uh, possibility to be played. So why not have um, that sort of thing? That's actually a bad thing for my lads being five guys there and still giving him so much space there that's not good anyway let's move on here um i think it would have been a, a very a, a really cool thing to have that uh, possibility to here we come again and it's the it's a copy of the first goal what's going on Why can't, why do we have that? Toby Egan completely out of it. No chance for him at all. And they're coming on, on my right here all the time. Egan saving once for something for once. Now, of course, we know this is one of our tougher games. And uh, we do know... It is a miracle if we can keep the numbers down. But yeah, I do want to press on him all the time. I don't want him to be able to go like that. Ugh. 
Again, turning with a corner and straight to the keeper. Well, I don't think that was good enough. Here they come again. And, uh, yeah. I know I'm going to bring in Agno in the second half. Not because he's... Oof. Thank you, Egan. Not because he's going to be better than McAllister, but uh, because I think Agner is a more potential player. And, uh, yeah, he just needs to play so that he can develop into that player. Now, quite honestly, to be honest, uh, I think the best thing that could happen for us is that we... If I can keep my job at Welling here, uh, I really do wish that we will fall out of the division and start to rebuild down in the championship. Now, yeah, it is, of course, a lot more money and a lot more to be able to buy and stuff like that if we stay in the Premier League, that's for sure. But we will also, I think, lose out on, on, um, on people, on, on fans. Because we're going to be beaten almost every game next season as well if we, if we manage to survive uh, in the Premier League. So, yeah. But of course, the most important thing is that I don't lose my job here because, uh, yeah, and... The, the series is over if I get fired from Welling United. We all know that. Born, no. Rodrigo. Anthony. Liverpool is... Oh, that's Patri. Polk. We are doing something all right now. We are playing a little better. Oscar Thorne is way too alone up there. And yeah, maybe we will have a better spring because we are signing a car. Oh, look at that, Rodrigo scoring again. We are making a couple of. We have signed a couple of players, or, or will sign a couple of players after the new year. So maybe they will help us get some points. But uh, yeah, I wonder. We we certainly do not have a strong side um, and I'm trying to offload a, a lot of players uh, that I feel as oh look at that number four as well I'm trying to offload a lot of players that I feel have not reached the the promised land or whatever they haven't been developing as I was hoping and I just feel like they probably never will or if their potential ability seems way too bad for me I I think I have four or five players that are um, on the list so to speak and uh, yeah let's go with Agna in. I'm just going to have a look. And we take in Jack Grealish. And I'm actually going to bring on Jackson Jones. I don't care. We have lost this game. Um, but hopefully we can do something. Maybe not let any more goals in or maybe get a scoring or two or just something would be nice um i don't think so i think they're gonna score a couple of more goals and app folks getting sent off as well well that's just what we needed isn't it ah oh, crap oh crap like that. Look at that. Oh. That looks interesting. Don't know how I ended in there, but 
we're just going to be doing like this and let's let it go here comes the hiccups again oh how irritating it is with that hiccups and we're already playing defensive i don't want to play very defensive just because we are one player less than we were before we're still going to be run over our players are nowhere near good enough mm. it's sad uh, it saddens me that we are not good enough to um, do anything in this division um, the win against Brighton was a, a, a lucky thing um, enormously lucky thing to manage to to win against um, Brighton if anything I should oh look at that if anything I might uh, be able to negotiate down good players uh, salary perhaps uh, like Turney like Rodwell Grant or Toby Egan or, or um, Juan Carlos Pena. Juan Carlos Pena has been really bad. We paid a lot of money for him. Okay, go down to very defensive for the last five minutes. <clears throat> We're still finding gaps in our low quality defense here. <clears throat> corner for them for Liverpool 5 nil lost here could be more as well um, I'm feeling very very sad about this well we have some really really good seasons and yeah to be honest I'm, a, I'm expecting this I was expecting this I, I mean we do not have players to be able to play at this level um, the mistake I made is just that I allowed myself to um, what should I say not be eager enough or not be alert enough to see that we went up up I should have made sure that we never ended up in the second position last year i should have lost a couple of games there at the end but uh, yeah not much i can do about that now we're just going to hope that we survive the job no matter where we end up here this season uh, but i guess i'll just see you in the next game and so we're here second game of this episode another tough game away against chelsea i mean the fifth we are going to have some major problems this season but yeah i just hope i can keep my job that's the most important thing we're going to bring back ronnie edwards stuck down there and then we bring in we're going to have to take a chance on jack Grealish now and i guess we're going to be putting in Taylor Morton there, yeah, and um, Pena, well he's back on good fitness here, um, maintaining sharpness, yeah, well, let's see what we can do today, we are struggling, McAllister is injured, oh, that's not good, Agner coming in, um don't think we have anybody that we can yeah we have spence bring spence in there to uh, act as a substitute instead agner oh, a lot of them are lacking in match fitness which isn't good of course um but yeah no, I'm not going to go hard in on tackles. Uh, Pompa fist. Show the world. 
kick off, skip, and we're off. Stanford Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Stanford Bridge. And he goes down. Is that a penalty? It is. It's a penalty. I expected that. Vera's going to check it though. And it is awarded. After three minutes, I mean, yeah. Toby Egan, can he save it? Oh, he does! Toby Egan saves it! Oh, lay or lay. Thank you, Egan. Oh, come on. Maybe we can get a little point here today. Would really love to get a point. We really need it. 18th position. And, yeah. It doesn't look like it. They are playing the heck out of us at the moment. Uh, we're not... We're, we're not... We're not even borrowing the ball here. What will Grant heading it away? Come on. They are playing with us. Oh. They're toying with us. They are toying with us. Could just as well put out something static on the pitch to act as defensive here because look how they just fluidly fly through our uh, our defense. And honestly, I'm thinking about bringing back my 442 uh, just in the uh, in the pure way that we we can't keep uh, fighting with 541 when we know that they run through our defense anyway so yeah <clears throat> but at least with 442 we will have a small, small, small chance of scoring a goal or two. We're not getting anything. And we're definitely not getting anything out of Oscar Thorne running around up there all alone. Not getting any support at all. And not getting any chances even to score. Oh, look at that. So yeah, it, it leans towards the thing that I'm going to go back to 442, And uh, I'm going to keep Borgia out of the team and hopefully they will bring him back in January then. Come on. Come on. Oof, what a goal. But we can't continue like this. We're going to go in here. We're going to be playing a positive football again, as we did before. Let's get into that, and Edward's going to change, and we're going to bring on that one, and yeah, we're back. But we're not back winning, I guess, but we're back with the play that we used to have, and... Um, yeah, let's see if we can create anything with uh, with a four four two instead. Well, if we do concede a lot of goal, if we don't play better defensively with a five man in the back than we do with a with a with a four, then why should we play it? Why not try to do something in the attack instead? Um, that's just my question. And that's why I'm doing this. And let's hope and see if we can create anything today. I mean, we do have some players that are supposed to be able to do something here. We have 3 0 to Chelsea. This is going to be a tough season. And as I said, I'm just worried about getting fired. I mean... 
Other than that, it, it, it will be a good uh, financial situation that we have given ourselves in this season. We will have uh, a completely different situation for the start of the next season if we, uh, if I get to keep the job. We will have a couple of new players that might be able to uh, compete. We are going to have a completely different financial situation. Um, come on. Come on. 4 0. It's way too easy for them. Way too easy. It's like they're not trying. You know what? Toby Egan has played very well, even though I can't change him out. Otherwise, I was thinking, let's give the young lad an opportunity to play, but that won't help. So frustrating. Dressing room here. I'm going to go with the assistance recommendation um, because I can't... Um, I can't tell them to do anything else here. Come on, Welling. Give me some hope. Well, we've had a shot. Oh, marvellous. Um, yeah, let's always press on one of their players. All their good-for-nothing players. Oh, look at Jake, Jack Grealish, so tired. Do you have a lot of players that is very tired? Do we have a, somebody that can come in for him? No. Anyone that can come in for Jack Grealish there at the center of the midfield? We have Morton. Taylor Morton. Let's give him the opportunity then. And Penna will go off and we will bring in De Rosa. Just to keep them fresh for, for uh, new games. Here comes Chelsea again. Will they get the fifth? Will they score as many as Liverpool? I get Oh, that was close. And there it is. Come on. This is so sad. What would ground saving us at in the first situation and then, yeah. I mean, it, it is a nightmarish of a season and, and it's such a sad part to think of. A, I mean, if I'd stayed in the championship, I'm pretty sure I could have maybe been among the top team. Oh, Oscar Thorne gets to score. Look at that. We bring one back. I'm pretty sure I could have been a top club this season as well in the championship. And that would have been uh, a sure thing for me to keep my job. Going up to the Premier League is the thing that can get me fired. And if I'm getting fired, this is this entire... 10 seasons that we have put down on this in order to to get where we are is going to be thrown out the window the tuesday saves going to go away so i don't know um, but yeah i'll guess i'll just See you in the next game. And so we're here. Last game of this episode. Away to Southampton. And we're just falling deeper and deeper. And um, yeah. This is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Um, yeah. Just going to have to keep on fighting. And see where it takes us. Um, but will Grant injured. So I really shouldn't be playing with him. Um, do we have someone? We do have Ronnie Edwards we can put in there and then perhaps bring in Ben Knight is still injured. Sorry. Tyler Morton then will have to be the player to put in there. Wow. 
I mean, there's really not much of players we can find here. He's a playmaker in... Let's do like that. Let's see if that can... Is there any other way to make him be better? Yeah, we can have him on the support instead. That will raise him half a star at least. Yep, not much more we can do. Nope, that's the best. But we can actually go and see that they start attacking instead of instead of just supporting the wing players here and um yeah let's get on with this game and get this episode over with the goal is to survive i mean and i'm not talking about surviving the Premier League I'm talking about the keeping my job here I know I'm be I'm I'm saying it all the time but I'm so worried about it I mean we have put down over two years on this save um, I think it's almost two and a half year that we have kept this uh, save alive and um, I hate for it to to end because I really like and I really been been getting my heart into Welling United and um, yeah it only goes to show don't grab after too much because um, if we've stayed in the championship we might not have been able to buy a lot of things and and stuff like that we ah oh, crap. We would still be struggling to to sign any good players. We would be struggling to to um, develop the club and everything. But we would most likely not be in any danger of losing the job. We are in danger of that. We are in danger of this ending after this season. And that's not what I want. Definitely not what I want. I've had so much fun playing this Welling save that uh, I just can't believe that th it might be over um, after this season. Uh, come on! <clears throat> So, so I really do hope that even if we end up in last position here, I, that I get to keep my job. I really think I should, to be honest. Uh, I think that the the board has to see the kind of players I I have, and that it is pretty much impossible for me to do something with the kind of players I have in this division. Oh, look at this. He just ran through everything, but Egan saves it. Thank you, Egan. And I've brought in a heck of a lot of money to the club this season. And we've only just begun this season. So there's going to be a heck of a lot of money at the end of this season in the account. Even if we end up going out of the Premier League. And yeah, that's what I... That's why I feel that we should be... They should be accepting me as a, as a manager even next season even if we we go out even if we go out with a bang that we yeah end up in last position and, and everything I, I still believe that we should be I should keep my get to keep my job and get to prove myself in the championship next season um, because I think oh, come on I think we will be great in the championship next year. Um, with this team and with the players that I'm getting into the club and so on, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we can maybe be doing a great job in the championship. 
So, yeah. But of course, I know that it is a, a situation where success is the most important thing for everybody. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna, but we're gonna be strong. Oh, come on. You can give me the time to go up there then. I mean, quite honestly, I think. I mean, Oscar Thorne is not a Premier League quality player. Maybe he could be, uh, when if he ever reaches his full potential, he can be somewhere in the bottom, maybe even in the middle of the Premier League quality. But he will never be a top Premier League quality, and he will. He's definitely not anywhere near the the Premier League quality at the moment. So, yeah. But he might develop into a player that will be decent in the bottom half. Oscar Thorne to take a penalty here. Can he score? Oscar Thorne puts it in. Well done, Oscar. Fourth goal of the season. And the fact that he even scores in this team is a miraculous thing. I mean, the, the difference. I thought the difference between... Um, let's see, let's just go through here so that we can... do this so that the volume goes down a bit. I thought that the, 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 the difference between League One and the Championship would be too much for us. But I realize now that this is the really, really big jump from Championship to Premier League. You need an entire new squad. Um, we don't have any midfielders. Oh, crackeroni. We can't take out Jack Grealish. We have no other player to bring in. Or maybe we should go... I'm going to do this and see what we have. Because we do need to take him off. Um, Jackson Jones can play in that... In a central situation up front here. Let's see what's his best. Uh, Shadow Striker. Let's use him in that. And then just put Morton in the center there. And a 3-1 for Southampton. Now, yeah. It's not one of the teams that we think that, or that we are... Believe to get the high points from, I think. We have to t look at the teams beneath Brighton to... Uh, in the games against them, it's when we are... Look at how they run through everything. Ridiculous. But the teams underneath Brighton, those are the teams that we really need to find a way to, to score on and... and uh, take points away from that was not very good from jackson jones but all right there's jones turney turney oh come on no luck either i mean with a bit of luck turney would have scored there and we would be one behind again and that would be something to struggle for <clears throat> let's see agna fisher Oh, bad pass by Fisher. And then we have Morton. Morton seems to be losing the ball here. No, he didn't. And, yeah. The keeper have that one without any problem. Fisher wasn't quick enough. And let's see here. Morton, Agner, Petri, Jones, Jones. His Turney, Morton, Pena. And here we go. Oh, we actually created something. I'm proud of my lads there. We actually did play ourselves into that situation. I'm happy with that sort of thing. So if we can keep that up to start creating chances, that would be nice. Um, 
And yeah, we are fighting. Um, and I'm not going to give up until I am fired. Definitely not. I'm going to be... I'm not one of those that can say that I, I don't... I don't feel like losing all the time here, so I'm going to give up this save. I'm not going to be that one. If they want me to stay, um, however bad we are playing, I'm going to stay. If we go out of the Premier League and they want me to stay, I'm going to stay. We're going to continue this save as long as the Welling board lets me stay. That's just the way it is. So, yeah. There's no way I want to leave the club. Um, I want to give this save uh, as, as much of a... Um, go as possible now this was the last game of the episode so let's go through how things are looking in the club um let's go through the news first of all coast past welling yeah of course and then he's out for 11 days not good a stubbed toe dang it Kieran Dodd put in a good performance in his loan Bailey put in a very good performance in his uh Loan deal, Danny Houghton. Yeah. Penna is having some fitness concern. Um, Ricky 10 without a win. Uh, the board is not going to accept that in the end. Uh, that's just the way it is. I have no transfer budget, so I can't make I can't make any uh, anything there. Uh, we do have a balance of 17 million, which is very good. We've made 1.3 million pounds so far this month which is also very very good it's only the 10th of november club vision the board are pleased with your management of the team but that is pretty much um play defensively solid football we can't play that make the most out of set pieces very pleased with that play high tempo pressing football pleased with that a direct football disappointed with that okay work within the budget of course on course fight bravely they are satisfied with how i've i'm fighting bravely against relegation that's uh nice to see i'm not going to get worried until they are this starts to um do something the caraba cup is that is a major issue that we didn't go through that um and then we have a couple of things we're improving our youth facility is on its way build new stadium is on its way youth level planning is on its way and improved training facilities is on its way so yeah um it looks like uh, at the moment it looks like we're safe with our job so i'm um, I'm hoping that will continue. Um, this is the club here. We have good training facilities and we have decent youth. And that's going to go up then. So that's good. Um, anything else I wanted to say in here? We are bottom of the table now, which isn't good. But we are not supposed to beat these teams since we are going to struggle to even get to 17th we do need to play good against blackburn wolves derby leicester nottingham leeds Sheffield united and of course brighton there as well and i don't think we're going to be having much of a chance against the teams over that so let's um see what we have in the schedule coming up next week Sheffield united we need to get something out of that one. Blackburn, we should. Well, we not should, but we really need to, to take a three-pointer there. We have Norwich. Leicester, we need to try and take a three-pointer there as well. Then we have Tottenham. That's not going to be nice for us. Then we have Derby. Another tr we are, we're going to have another try at getting a three-pointer in order to su survive this division. Everton maybe and united we should be schooled by them brighton 
The only team we have beaten so far is Brighton. Are way up there. And uh, that's been a whole lot of games with just losing and draws. Now, yeah. I just hope that they are considerate about that when it comes to everything. Because we are not a bright a good team uh, we all know that uh, we are missing out on a lot of positions so yeah we've actually drawn against walls drawn against leads that i seem to be a top uh, at the top of it um nottingham forest we drew against them City, Liverpool, that's that's all the top. We've actually managed to get points against the, the teams that I've been talking about. And I, I think Leeds is the team that we have getting points about that's been above what I was talking about. So maybe if we are a bit lucky, we can start mastering up some points against some teams here before we, we get this turn around and um, go the other way. I mean, to be honest, uh, as long as I can keep my job, I do hope that we end up in 18th position and something like that, really struggling to stay on, but missing out at the end, as long as I can keep my job. Um, I, of course, I'd rather become 17th and keep my job than go to 18 and lose my job. But, um, yeah, the important thing is, of course, the job that we keep it. Um, but if we can stay in the Premier League for another season, I guess we're going to be making a lot of money next season as well. So, yeah. It is what it is. And um, we need to fight. Fight for a survival. That is most definitely our, um, our only way to go. And uh, yes, yeah, you can see they're in the 13th position, Sheffield United, just underneath Brighton. Same points. Leeds are actually down here now as well. So then we do, we do actually um, have, I thought that wasn't a team up here that's, but maybe that's in another save. Maybe that's the Manchester United say where Leeds have gotten to become a little better team. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I mean, believe it or not, even though we have three defeats in this um, episode, I still enjoyed it. I hope you do it as well. And uh, I hope you do leave a like and a comment. And above all, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And having said that, I would say stay safe out there, have heaps of fun, and I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.